Oh, yes. Here we are again for another episode of D&D Misfit Adventures campaign. Uh, thank you. Episode 12, I think we're on this evening. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you go down into our description, you can see our friends at mini minimegastore.com. Use the code MISFITS, all capitals, to get 10% off of all of your purchases. Um, but as for tonight, let's go and meet the MISFITS. Bye. Okay, here we are, gents. <laughs> um, after leaving San Mateus's underground Eden, you were met by an army of natives by the cave entrance. You were taken deep into the redwoods, where you saw a huge village different to the others. Not as friendly, not as welcoming. In the centre was an area called the Pit, where you had to stand during your meeting with the Donegard called Deirdre. The pit of misery, dilly dilly. Sorry. <laughs> Rogu was taken away during your conversation as you were locked in a bone cage by a mysterious blue dragon king. Rogu was given his new native name of Akarath. Akarath and his unnamed blue dragon king sorcerer performed a spell creating a blood bond between the two. Only death can break such a bond. He will provide you with assistance and you will or you will provide him with information about the seed of life to allow him to speak face to face with Il Mon Frictimin. You are ushered quickly out of the village as if Deirdre didn't want you there. Uh, after that, you visited home. And you realise that you had your first note delivered by your bird. And I can't remember what name you gave it. Great. Uh, yeah. The letter was from Constantine informing you, this was the following morning, by the way, informing you that he had gone hunted and not to, and not to disturb the castle today. Wow. So much gear. <laughs> you heard cannon fire from the docks as a huge dragon turtle sunk a ship bound for the docks at San, Mat at San Mateus. Rich and wealthy lost most of their belongings to the bottom of the sea. All of those that survived set off in wagons to head to, to, head to the barge to cross to the other island. You set off to investigate the singing waters. My God, listening to the wealthy ones riding the wagons and doing nothing but moaning as the first bard sets off with a hefty amount of wealthy upon it, Dudley heard a name that turned him white and a laugh that could curdle his blood. And that's where we left off. So, <laughs> my God, busy week last week. <laughs> the last bit. thing, the last thing that you heard was one of the barge masters uh, speaking to a gentleman that he named as Laughing Lord Dozel. Uh, and that was it. And then I, I can leave it to you guys to carry on your walk. Noted. Don't go there. Well, we're we hang our press on. Yeah. We're, we're walking, everyone. Uh, oh, sit there, do, da, sit there, Fair enough. So you all uh, you all continued to set off after leaving the, the wealthy and the moaning and the miserable uh, set up in wagons by the barge crossing over to San Mateus. San Mateus. Yeah, I'm going to write it. You start heading north along a path. It's not very, it's not very uh, long before the path the trodden path disappears underfoot and you start to meet a thick marsh area. What was the name of the area we were heading to again? The Singing Waters. Singing Waters. That's the one. So there's two things that can come to mind of what could be there. They sing yeah. in it. Yeah, do we hear any singing? Like some muffled. 
<laughs> I mean, straight away, I'm thinking if they're singing in water, I think it's something like mermaids or sirens. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I know, I know. In James, there's never anything positive or beautiful about it. It's it's going to be some kind of impending danger. No, so, I think I know what you, what James is going to do, and it's going. To... You need to move out right. and live somewhere else. You know too much. You know too much. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be something to wind up Jack. All right. Oh. But guys, what if they're just having a party? Right. <laughs> that would right. be funny as hell. Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what? The sea. A sea crustacean of other sea life dancing around. So I I'm just I'm just gonna give a I watched I watched the new one of that today. I haven't yet. What, what the, the, the real life the real life. It's the... not terrible, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Mm. I, I, um, I can't I can't bring myself to watch it just yet. Right, sorry, my fan. Out. It's not really. I, I was told not to watch it, so it's not. Te- it's not terrible. It's all right watching. But anyway, back to the back to the thing. So you get to the um, the edge of the pathland, and as the the path the, the trodden path comes to an end, you meet a thick, uh, untrodden, stodgy mass marshland. Everything beneath your feet just fills. Like Pete, that's P E E T. Pete was in soft soil. We need to get through this really quickly. I don't want all this stuff messing up my boots. The the lighter the, the, the lighter ones of you are sort of able to sort of hover and tread along. They're they're, they're a thicker bars. You you sink in like four to six inches. The larger ones, the heavier ones, the heftier ones. You're you're dropping in, almost going up to your knees. The um, yeah, I'm just pressing on. Dud, that... Dud, Dud, Dudley's almost losing his uh, losing his sandals every time to do the. Look at us, hold on to me, Dudders. You mm. can hold on to me, Dudders. I'll help you if you need me. I'll pull you, help pull you through. No, at the moment, I might need a resistance just to go blow some steam. Okay, yeah. that's no problem. The two, the, the two heavier of the two. Wow, that's just not very nice, is it? The two heavier of the two. Be fat. Well, you're not made heavier, out of metal. No, the two heavier of the two. Would you roll? Would roll, roll me a constitution saving? You know, you know. You're just big bones. <laughs> he hasn't got any bones. He's made of metal. I'm sort of massive bone in his last time. Okay, to know. Jake, what constitution saving throw? Constitution saving throw from the two heavy ones, yes. Oh, me as well. You're one of the heavy ones, yes. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> How dare you? Um, oh my god. Go on, save. That's a 24. Mm. Oh. You all had a long rest, by the way, so your your, your health should be. Oh damn! Yep, it is. Oh. I just haven't updated my name. Rest. Did we have a fight? But did I have to go for a fight? I've been sleeping the whole time. Well, no I don't fight. know why I lost two health points. What what level are we on? We we all, we haven't right. leveled up since. Level three. You haven't had a level up yet. Yeah, because uh, James won't allow it. No, yeah. right. he doesn't believe in birthdays. You've got to work. You've got to work harder to get your level up from now on. Okay, what the flip? Are you just going to give me a number or what? I did. Which is fifteen. Fifteen. So the pair of you, as you're walking along in this marsh, you feel a sort of. Around your ankles and your lower calf, you start to feel like a burning, a, a sizzling sensation, almost like it, it, it's hot. You don't take any damage from it, but you can feel that there's a bit of pain coming from underneath the soil as you're walking. No pain, no gain. Press on. You continue trudging through the through this marsh, 
and you start to get to thicker areas, roll me a perception, all of you. Yeah. I'm gonna go bloody submarine. Mm. Right, push that. Because I'm just too pissed off. Hmm. Well, sixteen. Wow. Just getting my character sheet open. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh. Yeah, I thought you were ready. Nope. Thirteen. Thirteen. It's all a lie. Okay. Hmm. So, uh. Okay, so everybody above ten, you're fine. Um, all of you above ten, as you're as you're sort of treading in this 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 soft uh, top layer of soil, with each footprint you're leaving behind, you're noticing the footprint is starting to fill with a thick green liquid. Lovely. Is the liquid viscous? It's a good word. I mean, it's 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 a thick green liquid. Mm. Interesting. Uh, we've just landed up in Shrek Swamp, and we've just landed in his piss. <laughs> and does it seem to flow like normal liquid, or it's is it? Just, so you know, you know, when you tread on wet soil, you sort of when mm-hmm. you when you put your foot, and then like the water just kind of fills the thing. So there's no real, there's no flow, but as you Lift your foot out, it, your footprint fills up with the said liquid. Okay, sweet. So nothing abnormal. No, like a big fluidous blob being. Interesting. If I were to bend down and kind of wave my hand in the marsh and liquid, like flap it around, um, does anything unusual happen? Romy an investigation. Okay. Seventeen. Very nice. You get you get down and you sort of wave your hand over the top. You can notice that there's they they there's sort of very slight um fumes coming off of it. Um you see a couple of small bubbles. There's mm. a, a sort of the, the, the smell you get is um I mean, what we would call it, like, sulfur. Mm. Okay. Cool, thank you. Nothing else? Can we carry on wandering? Yeah, I reckon so. Sulfur. Singing waters. Might be slipknot. <laughs> I push my fingers into my <laughs> fair enough. Fine. So you carry you carry on chugging towards, even though this peculiar green liquid um <clears throat> has started to become more prominent. The area around you starts to become quite thick and quite the the marsh has gone and now the area has become more swampish. Um the areas of this green liquid now very prominent and mostly um it's become surface water. So everywhere is a puddle, everywhere is a pond, everywhere is a sort of thick marsh marshland now. The areas you can see some areas are much, much deeper than others. Um As you're sort of, sort of walking through this, are there any? I'll carry on the theme of long words. Are there any perturbations in the water surface? Any undulations, as it were? Undulations. <laughs> as I said, you, you see a few bubbles. Mm. Pop up. Okay. Cool. How from various conundrumous. All rollers of perception then. Again, yeah, it's all rollers perception based on hearing. So if you've got bonuses on hearing, what six excellent 14 14 as well. 50. 
Okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's simple again. You can you can hear that there are various animals in the area. You can hear the the different the the the, the similar mooing to your your once beloved Brett. Um, the the roar the roar of uh, something that sounds like a, a large carnivorous animal. There are various uh, various noises coming from coming from in the woods, but something sort of rustles in the trees, maybe 20, 30 feet from you. And as it sort of pops out, you notice this this creature, sort of a dark blue with a large purple fin on its back. And running down to the tail, at the end of the tail, there's a huge mace-like Does it look like it's trying to <clears throat> hide and avoid us? It, it's not really paying you much attention. It starts making its way over to one of the deeper pools of water. Is this a four-legged creature? Yeah. Okay. So it's not what I thought of it was going to be. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you are. I'm not going to be a flail snail. Oh, that's yeah, it. Nice. Like that. One of well, those. We've walked to Jurassic Park. <laughs> the... <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yes. As the, as, as the creature sort of comes over to the water, it sort of goes down. You can see it sort of sniffs the water and leans in and has a drink. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I think it's best to uh, avoid that thing. Looks a bit meaty. Doesn't look too friendly either. I think it's fine if we don't try and attack it. Mm. Okay. Is there an obvious path or a break in the trees that we can follow? Are we kind of just going by... Random the, directions. You're 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 heading in the direction. You're heading north. You're basically in the singing waters. That was what you wanted to do. You want to head to the singing waters. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah. to the centre of the singing waters. Outside of following north, is there any obvious route to the singing now, waters? They, so the, the the area is literally just uh, there. There are there are very few trees around. Um, what trees there are, I've got very little brush on them. The you can see um like quite far in front of you. Imagine okay. imagine stepping out onto a field and just seeing mm. nothing in front of you except for maybe a dozen trees here and ten trees over there. And mm. it's, it's really quite open land, like like a, a huge marshland. Mm. Okay, sweet. The odd for a scat scattering the trees here, the odd scattering the trees there. Um mm. while you're sort of scanning the horizon and looking over this, you you hear um, off to the side, a sort of as the creature out. just as you saw that the <laughs> creature just drinking, um, kills over and dies. Oh, lovely! Huh. Can I think Rogue would want to slowly drudge over there and have an inspection of it? Taco, I blame Taco. <laughs> I'm not paying you any heed, you. Peasant, but yes, um, you all right? So, Rogue, Rogue you heads over. It was, it was only about 15 20 feet away from you, so it wasn't miles away. And as you sort of get over, you, you just want to look at the creature, yeah, inspect okay. it. As you sort of you, you sort of look at it, you can see that the uh, I'm not gonna worry about getting your revolver or anything because. You can see that there is uh, the the eyes have almost immediately rolled into the back of the head. The tongue is hanging out and sort of very. You can see the end of the tongue is almost burnt, like the skin burns showing on the tongue, and there's froth around the mouth. Damn. Okay. Uh, well, does anybody? 
Go on. Sorry. Go on. No, no, no. You first. All right. Then. While you're standing there, uh, looking at this, the animal itself starts to move. Mm-hmm. Just slowly being dragged, and the next thing you know is being pulled into one of the deeper pools. Uh. Yes, right. Stay away from the pools of water. <laughs> There's goblins inside of them, or something. Mm. There's goblins in the tar, did you just say, or in the water? Quite possibly. <laughs> uh, either, either or, God knows. When did goblins learn to breathe underwater? <laughs> I don't bloody know. There could be war goblins or genocide. Genocide. Oh. Genocide. This is fantasy RPG, mate. Like, anything can happen. <laughs> True. <laughs> the goblins might have worked out the gilly yeah. one gives you guilt. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you Hans was to... If Hans was to dip his head just slightly under the water and have a look, would he be able to see anything? I mean, Hans could try this if he likes. Right, somebody hold his legs. <laughs> right, Hans is not going to try it because we're going to have a roll for this and you're going to have something to drag me in or pull, pull Hans in because that's the sort of stuff you do. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> grab each other's legs. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. All right, then. I'll put my head... Okay. okay, everybody, please take a hard. I'm going to put my hand and see if I can see anything. I want to know what <laughs> the bloody hell that was. Yeah, All right, now, instantly, before Hans can even finish the sentence, I'm holding him by the ankles. Hans, the safe word is... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm just, I was going to take... Flail flail like a fish, there's no you. safe word. How dare you? Um... <laughs> Before before Rogu gets to say this, Dudley dunks his head in there, so. <laughs> Dudley dunks Hans in. Hans, you are unable to open your eyes for the sensation of burning. Roll me a constitution saving throw. God damn. <laughs> oh dear. I, I can't. I don't know where it is with my thing. I'm blinded. <laughs> <laughs> my constitution is actually really high, so I'm going, oh. 23. So again, oh, you, you, you sort of come out. Your hair absolutely ruined. The collar of your jacket singed and started to melt around. Your uh, your lovely brass buttons on your coat have melted. Where the acid has Ooh. touched it. Dang. Well, there was no need for that, was there? <laughs> You do it's just killed, it killed an animal. It smells like sulfur. I was thought it was only one of you would go, oh, it must be acid. <laughs> I didn't get a chance, did I? Because you just dipped me in. <laughs> yeah, apologies. <clears throat> push let's push Taco in there. Let's, my eyes. We've now let's, pu- let's push Taco in there. <laughs> uh, Taco's standing like 30 feet away from you, just kind of doing this because it smells all. Damn it. Does anyone have any vials or glasses or anything we can get some of the Yeah, yeah I've, got, I've got a batch. Could we get some? It might be useful to throw in. Well, the t- Tucker might have some in that bag of his. Because oh. he can pull anything out of there. Oh, yeah, because he's got the bag of holding. Yeah, he's got 10 vials in there. All right. I'll, uh, sizes and checks. I'll fill up one of the biggest ones then. No, well, not one of the biggest. With, with the acid. Yeah. Okay. I'll fill up you, sort of, you sort of put the put put it in. You do, like you can feel it burning, singeing the end of your fingers, like removing your fingerprint. Mm. You can feel it, but you're a rogue, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I can commit crimes. I know <laughs> I'm not smart. But did you do something with your head? <laughs> you didn't wait for me to say I was ready. <laughs> now look at me. <laughs> so you can see sort of where where is like the nice part in this sort of disappeared. It looks like his hair's running away from his face. <laughs> he 
He's had a, he, he's had a short back and where the fuck's it gone? <laughs> so you're telling me that you didn't do that? <laughs> no, not on purpose anyway. Rogu, because you're down by the water, can you roll me? Oh, Actually, no. no, not 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 roll me anything. What's your passive perception? It's really shy, isn't it? Oh, why are you pulling for Rogu? Because well, he's yeah. there. I'm filling up the vial. Nine. Yes, excellent. Oh, I'll, I'll have some of that. So while you're down, uh, down sort of filling this vial, you don't notice this vine reaching out from the water and wrapping itself oh, around your foot. Back off of the vines, hmm. man. Will you? Will you? Will you roll me a uh, contested strength, please? Right. I might use my inspiration. Yay. But then I don't know if I'll get another one. What do I do? Right. Dice, are, dice are letting me down in a minute. Every step. <laughs> right. Inspiration used. <laughs> Did it help? <laughs> Not very. Six. Oh, dear. Oh, damn. Well, interestingly, I only rolled a seven. Oh, damn. But yes. Uh, with uh, with with that, you have been tripped and have basically got onto your back. The vial has gone um, splashed and tipping out, and you are now being pulled into the water. And with that, let's roll for initiative. Okay, dang. Why? Why do I get a good roll? I don't want a bloody good roll. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Every step. Oh. Right. Oh, I need to find. I you did a new Shrek had tentacles. To taco vision. To taco vision. Hey, Dudley. Burger. There, we'll put. We'll put. Uh, Rogan can go there. Yeah. Uh, Dudley's going to be next to him because he'd be going for a swim. And A55 can go over there. Lovely. Cool. And now let's show you what you're fighting. <laughs> oh, hell no. Damn. Tentacly Bowser. Okay, dude. Uh, Look at that. It's a poker bastard. Damn, big girl. Plants versus zombies. <laughs> That's a plant and a zombie. Oh, exactly. No, we, we need some light. Uh, yes, green. green. Look at that. Hey, somebody once told me. Oh, Shrek. <laughs> hey, Shrek. What a... Somebody once told me not to play oh, D&D oh. with James as a DM. He, make sure you have nothing nice oh, and tries to name. kill you every oh, time. Oh, nice. That's really green. I like that. Nice. Right. Children who didn't work out that this is blooming acid. <laughs> 20 and above. <laughs> 20. 20. Oh, there's a 22 from Dudley. 20 from Rogue. 20 from A55. Oh, go Rogue. Excuse me, I got a twenty-two. Oh, you got a twenty-two as well. Oh, no, man. as in a, a twenty. Oh, you got a twenty. Well, I know for a fact <laughs> that he, that, that Rogue is going to have better decks than you. Last one. Uh, what's Rogue's decks? Five. Yay. Oh. See, <laughs> um, and that will bring. Uh, I'll take it. Hans has rolled, I'm assuming. But... Mm hmm. And what did he get? Three. Woo! Woo! Hans, Hans is going last. <laughs> Echo, and, and Taco's too busy playing with himself. He's, he's looking through the bag. He got lost. He, <laughs> done, he put his arm, arm in too far and that's stuck. There you go. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, Dudley, you are starting us off. I'm going to run up, seeing Rogu getting entangled up. So first things first, I'm going to rage. Rawr. 
So they call on my ancestors to assist. And then I go smash it in the face. Well, then I go try to break the hold by slamming my mole on the tentacle. Well, I, it would be to to pull him away. You would need to do a contested strength. To break Roby Roby free, as opposed to attack the attack the limb. Okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Go on then, let's do that then. Contested strength. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Damn. He's got first, a big find. First nap <laughs> twenty first nap twenty of the day. Yes, and as you, you sort of run over and you sort of get hold of it and you start to pull it, but as you sort of pull it, it's still covered in this sulfur acidy sort of liquid and you, you can't quite get a grip of the vine. Cool. Almost, right, almost as if it's slimy. You gotta catch me. <laughs> yeah, but he's on major. Cool. Rogu. Okay, so with my glitter blade, I'm just going to start stabbing at the tentacle that's holding me. Okay, you're you're considered grappled, so it'll be with a disadvantage. Oh, so interesting. If you want to break the grapple, it's just a straight, it's just a contested strength. Hmm. One, two, break free. No, I'm uh, going to attack it. I got a question. Yes. As as I'm in five feet. Of the creature, would sneak attack work and make him do a flat roll? So, this creature isn't a single creature. It is oh, okay. It, it is made up of many pods, many vines, and many. It's not a single entity. Okay, that's why I just want to go shoot shoot away. Yeah. No, just just imagine it as a big bundle of. Vines, but they're all it is swamp thing, yeah. It's, like a, giant, it's, like, it's like a giant, disgusting uh, vine white kind of thing. So, swamp thing, yes. Anyway, Jack, continue. Okay, I've changed my mind. I do want to try and get out. Okay, with a Seven strength. Yes, you, 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 uh, I, I, I only rolled a six that time. <gasps> yes. So you, uh, you take out your glitter blade. And you're like, I'm gonna stab him not, and then you just you sort of with the beautiful, beautiful thing you just managed to cut through the vine, which allows you to now stand up if you wish. Yes, please stand up. Lovely, thank you. And I don't have any bonus things. No, so. uh, no, no bonus actions yet? Mm. Cunning action. You can take a bonus action on each of your turns to take a dash, disengage, or hide. Uh, can I hide behind that lovely tree that's on my yes. left? You can. Roll me, roll me a stealth. Okay. Stealth, eh? 15. Fair enough. We will see whether he notices you or not. Hmm. Right. Depends if he does the running, the running noise or not. Hello. <laughs> hmm. um. hmm. Rather, uh, no, I um, wait, hold on, it's a bonus auction. I don't know if that's gonna work. Um, I'd like to use a bonus action first and cast ensnaring strike, okay, on. The, oh no! Is it, is it touch? Wait. Yeah. So basically, you cast ensnaring strike on your weapon. 
Right, okay. And then you go and hit them with the weapon, and then you get the attack plus the ensnaring strike bonus. Oh, yeah, okay, I know I am. I'll cast ensnaring strike. And then you're going to run over and go, oh, I want to hit you. Like yeah. Just like that. I'm going to shank you. That's not. Uh, with 18 to hit. 18 hits. All right. Come on, Hammer. That was horrible. All right, seven plus four. That is 11 points of damage. Lovely. Okay, is that everything? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. The creature starts to rise out of the rise out of the water a little bit more, and now it stands in front of this huge, ten feet tall. You, as you sort of look at it, you can see that there are various flower pods on it, and each flower pod has got like a little eye in it, staring at you through the flower. Yay! Also ensnared in all of its vinery and all the bushiness, you can see that there are. There are various bones, like skulls, rib bones, tail bones, all bits of dead corpses just engulfed in its body. Lovely. And with that, it rolls up a collection of the bones and puts it in almost like a mace as it raises up one of its vines and it's going to come down and smash Dudley in the face. And oh, Dudley's sure. going to hit you with a nat 20. Two of the night. Give me those dice. It's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. Eight points of bludgeoning damage half the fall. Four. Cool. Because you're raging. But in its anger, it rolls up two more, collecting up more bones, creating another mace. And it's going to take a swing at 855 with 14 to hit, which is missing. Yeah, that's a miss on my very high HP. AC, I mean. AC, yeah. Really. My high HP. That's uh-huh. always how you attack. The, um, okay, but yeah, that's these two attacks. So, Hans, do you sure? Oh, look at the stats of me. Not good. Right, I'm going to cast a level, a second level magic missile. So, um, so that's four bolts of magic missile. That's going to be four, yeah. It's going to be four. So, right. Um, oh, her off, bloody pop up thing. Okay, so three. Three, three, it's nine. Oh, shit, I don't know. Oh, I need to add one. Oh, it's a plus one on the end. So three, so four, four, five, four. So what's that? That's 17. 17, so yeah, 17 points of, um, what do we call it, damage? Force damage or whatever. So all of the, these hits sort of come out of nowhere, <laughs> just striking. One of them hits directly into one of the flower pods. Will uh, A55 and Dudley roll me a dexterity save? Oh, oh, fuck, it's, a, it's like spores or some kind of shit. I've got, I got advantage on this, so I'm calm. Danger sense. Did A55 <laughs> hear me? Huh? Roll a dexterity saving throw. Uh, 16. 7. Ooh. Dudley, you managed to get it out of the way, but unfortunately for A55, this this eye explodes in a flash of light. And you're going to take four points of fire damage. Oh, damn. It's a swamp fire. Sorry. Michael Jackson can't help you now. 
I don't think A55 can get do plastic surgery. Do some sort um, of surgery. Anything else, Hans? I uh, let's have a quick look. I don't think so. I'm just have a little bit of a look here. Uh, Oh, okay. I think of that. No, not for this term, but I may for the next. Okay. Dudley, back to you. Rogu on deck. Cool. So, I'm still raging. So, I'm going to go and try and hit it. Hmm. Well, then. A 12. A 12 hits. Hey, take it. <laughs> take it, bitch. For 15 points of bludgeoning. Jesus Christ. As you strike it, you hit one of the spores. A55. Boxer. Can you roll me a dexterity saving Hold throw? Hold on. So I feel I can help something with that because I've got Child Child's Ancestral. I think he gets resistance. First creature you hear on your attack it takes disadvantage on the attack and it isn't against you. And when the target hits the creature other than you, the creature has resistance to the damage dealt by the attack. Nice. So was it not an overtax saving throw? Well, I'm waiting for Dudley to tell me what he's doing. Right. Oh, no, I think it's just... Just my um, ancestral protectors. Yeah. So what whatever they look like, because I don't know if it's, I can't see yeah. them while raging, so I don't know what they look like. They're gonna go give, come out protect a five five, so it will have resistance. Okay, but not on you. Not on you. Not on you. It's not immunity, it's... So, so it only take half the damage. That's fine. So, dexterity saving throws. For both Dudley and A55, again. Yeah, that's fine. 11. Eighteen. Dudley's, uh, Dudley's safe again. But because of your resistance, you're only taking half of this. So half of three, rounded up to two. Okay. Anything else, Dudders? No, that's me. Rogu. Oh, okay. I'm going to attack with my glitter blade. So you're going to jump out and go? Yes. So with my glitter blade, that is a a nine to hit. I'm going to give you the good advantage, or you are you will have advantage. How about? Sixteen. Sixteen hits. The reason you had advantage is because you were hidden. So you sort of jumped out from your hiding space to attack. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. I will note that in future. And then yeah. it's... And then it's a... That is a six damage plus yep. a one damage because it's glitter blade and has a plus D four 
um, yeah. damage. Uh, what about your other thing? And then my sneak attack will be a 2d2, 4, and a 4. So 8 plus the 6 plus the 1. 8, 14, 50, 15 points. Nice. Oh, man. And as you jump out and you jam your your glitter blade into one of these pods, can all three of you make a dexterity saving throw? Oh. Uh, are you okay so, over there? <laughs> so basically, I... I I'm not I, playing I, dodgeball. I set, I set a limit, right? I set a thing on if they cause more than this amount of damage, they hit a pod. So you've hit a lot of pods. Mm -hmm. 16. 15. Seven. <laughs> again, people, people Everybody else myself, is fine. A55, five, five, but you're gonna be you're gonna be rescued again. A55 five, five. is three again, half to two. Wait, how much damage did I hit last time? Two. Two. Okay. I forgot to put the last one in, so I'm now down to twenty-three. Anything else, Rogu? Yeah, so I'll use a cunning action to hide again. <laughs> stab, hide, stab, hide. <laughs> that's what yeah, but that's what rogues are supposed to do. You can't see me. <laughs> John, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for me. A five five, you're up. I can't you even do it. anything. Wait. Hit it. You can hit it with your hammer. You've got all these, uh, like, spells. You've got smite. I mean, damn, smite does stuff. Do I, do I, I do Just it. give him a leaflet and tell him that how to take damage. <laughs> Why haven't I used divine smite? Because you're a fool. And you're, 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 and you haven't know. read your sheet. You're too busy being a 14 year old and you're not reading your sheet properly. You can just shout out, be gone, Satan. Hello, Shamu. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Hello Satan. When you Hello, Shamu. At least Shamu only has one blowhole. Okay, fine. I'll use divine divine smite with a warhammer hit. So with the hit, it is twenty one. Yeah, that hits. You still you still got in staring strike going. We well. love it here. I do, okay. Yeah, it's a concentration spell, so you cast it, you're using it. So that's eight damage plus... It's there in strike. So that one to 12, and then Divine Smite is 2d8, right? Yeah. So I roll 2d8. Plus 11. So 20... Three damage. Thirty-three points. That's amazing. Really exciting. That's a huge hit. Wow. And I bust a bar. So yeah, we bust two. Weeds ten. Oh. Oh, actually, yeah, you smash a pod. Oh, all roll me a dexterity saving throw. A five five and Dudley again. Dudley, kill yourself. What did I do? Reminded the DM. We're hardy people. That's a nat 20, 23. Dudley's all right. I'm assuming A45 is going to hit you. It's very. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's uh, it, resistant. It, three, three, half to two again. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Look at me. I'm happy. Well, you probably won't be in a minute. Do you know what the, f the fun thing I do? I watch my wedding video in reverse. <laughs> do you get it? She walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of walking away, the large vine creature starts pulling in all of its vines and creates itself into almost like a giant vine boulder and it's going to go in a direct line. Uh -huh. That way. I thought so. 
No. 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 If only I was level four. No. How far am I going? He's only traumatised. You leave him alone now. Okay, I'm 42 feet. Oh, that's definitely, I've definitely made. No. Uh, yes. No. We can't. There's, there's obstructions in the way. Yes. Well, you mean all of this flat ground? Yeah. No, you got someone standing right in front of him. Oh, yeah. Well, he's just about to roll over. I am no wall. <laughs> just about to roll over the top of him. So, uh, would you bump. roll me, uh, Dudders, would you roll me a strength saving throw, please? Strength, yep. Yeah. No. No, not fun. And Hans, you can do the same. Full strength. Team. Strength. Yeah. Something that you shouldn't actually be very good at. Well, no, because I've only got a plus two on it. What was yours, Dudders? 14. 14? Oh, wow. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, 15 plus two, 17. Oh, lucky I picked the lucky I picked a hard creature then. The giant creature rolls into a ball and bundles over Dudley, <laughs> and bundles over. You don't get thrown, which is what the strength saving throw was for. You do get hit, which you don't get thrown. Dudley, you get thrown, ah, and you are not prone. But He's you both, oh. is prone. but you both take. Ten points of bludgeoning damage. Ten uh, points. Ten, yeah. Half to half to five for Dudders because he's urgent. Can I not? Can I not halve it? Like, can I not use my inspiration or something? No. Hmm. Well, that's just rude, then, isn't it? <laughs> oh God forbid! I actually hit you. It's How many points of damage did you do last time? Seventeen. I do ten, and it's a problem. It is a problem. Yeah, I can't wait to bring out one of the big, big ones. Yes, you know, it's my birthday for fuck's sake. But <laughs> not, not supposed to traumatize me. Yeah, leave off, James. Okay. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> you ha, have any day, sir? Oh hell no! Oh, yeah, not bad friend. We Joker dragon into this. <laughs> You're not my friend, buddy. You're not my buddy, friend. Is it really weird that that looks really cool underneath the green light? It yeah, does actually. Yeah, now take it away. <laughs> oh. No. We're not out. ready for Joker Dragon. Hmm. Well, Leave that for next week. Look, it's like the dragon swooped down and went, oh, it's acid water. Fuck this. And just flew back up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, anyway, the good news is, it's your go, Holmes. Uh, yeah, so, okay, I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I please go uh, the full 30 feet uh, to yeah. the... Uh, to my right, that behind that so second you, tree. So you are currently in. I know there'll be there'll be like a thingy attack. I know. I will get an opportunity to attack this. Yes, I know you will. Okay, um, that's fine. I'm just. But going it's going to be better than staying there, considering most of my attacks are ranged anyway. And there's no point in using acid yeah, splash on something that's just been living in acid. Thirty foot, thirty foot to your right. Good yeah. deduction there. I give you an inspiration if that wasn't. Uh, after you put your head in something I told you was absolutely um my 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 what what am I doing? My opportunity, opportunity to attack to is take. 17 to hit. Or oh, just. And that will be five points of bludgeoning damage. The attack piss now. <laughs> 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 okay. Right, uh, again, I'm going to cast uh, Magic Missile uh, level two. This is my second level two slot. Um, so we are going to go. Uh, where are we? So there's uh, four. Another four. There's five on that one. And a three. So. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16 points. Yeah. Lovely. Nobody is within five feet of it. So you hit a spore, it goes <clears throat> nothing else. Because nobody's within distance. Okay. And that brings us to the end if you haven't got anything. Uh, I don't believe 
So, uh, not looking like it. What's this? See, I've got three sorcery points. Yeah. So it says that I can use a sorcery point to gain additional spell slots or cast, sacrifice. Cast an additional spell, yeah, if you run out of spell slots. Yeah, I'm gonna cut I'm gonna use one of my gonna... three to give myself an additional level yeah, two. You spell can only slot. yeah, but you've already cast the spell, so you can't cast another spell. It's for when you run out of spell slots. Oh. Okay. It allows you to do more stuff. So if you haven't got any bonus actions. Uh, I don't believe I have. Just checking bonus actions. Mm, no, not really. Mm -hmm. Go on. That's me. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll show you how to use them properly one day, Stefan. Yeah, no worries. Just... The, um... So yes, uh... At the, and after Hans hits it again with a barrage of magic missiles, you see it suddenly turn. It starts to it comes out of its ball, and it starts to raise up on sort of six or seven of its legs. And the front of it sort of opens wide as if it's created a huge mouth. Various bones in places, like almost acting like jagged teeth. But as it does that. A shining light, silver light flies out of the sky. And almost with the sound of a shing, as clean as that, this blue light flashes in front of the creature, almost slicing it in half. As it drops to the floor, dead. And I'm going to ask all of you to roll me a perception. Dang. Is this Jack Human returning? Boom! Nat 20 with a plus three on modifier. 23. They really wanted to see what did that. Hmm. Three, else? as I'm still drowning in acid. Lovely. My eyes are burning. Zero. I'm still hiding. Okay. Hey, five, five, perception. Um, I am doing it. Okay. Don't look so happy. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, cool. Only harm sees is, he's got the he's got the face of a full senior old that was like, yes, Michael Jackson, and then he all the world started playing and now he's realizing how morbid that song really is. <laughs> <laughs> the nice. so, make yeah, a Hans, you, every, everybody sees this uh the sees this creature sort of get taken down with this huge uh white blinding like light. All you basically hear is like that noise out of the anime where it goes Fishing! Like and it just sort of it drops but what you see sort of silhouette in the sky you can see something something I say humanoid size but with a huge sort of 10 foot wingspan as a silhouette against a silhouette against the sun it might be um, Dalek Dalek oh, Dalek not big enough. I'd say uh, not big enough to be Delic. Okay. Delic's so, son. You can only it, really catch the only really catch the silhouette against the against the sun. You didn't really is see. It, is it? Is it master? <laughs> <laughs> it's what man bat. It, it's man bat. We're now fusing with uh, Batman. <laughs> uh, is there any? Is this creature making any other noise themselves? Why is the creature the creature in the sky making then? No. Yeah, no. It okay. was almost like a silent killer. Damn. Right. Came in. All all that was heard was the the shing of a blade and a mm. blinding white light that came yeah. from the daughters. But it was like it was a swoop in, a swoop out. Gandalf with wings. Brighter, brighter light. You shall not land. <laughs> okay. Eight five five because you're the religious one. Roll, roll, roll me uh, a history check. Yay. 
13. You remember back, your, your, your memory banks, you remember back to the, the murals and the pictures and seeing that there was a um, particular type of being that was being praised that had wings. Can anybody remember what type of being it was? There was the, was it the white dragon? Big wings being praised. Not white at all. Golden. Oh, golden. Oh, golden. The yeah. golden dragon. Yeah, pray, pray to the golden dragon. Yeah, but what, what, the what, people. what in particular was on the mural? Wasn't a dra it wasn't a golden dragon. It was a what, golden dragon? Dragon. Was it dragon oh. born or dragon born? Dragon born. King? Dragon born. There we go. See, the A55. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was one of them on the mural. Yeah. I was on the mural too. So, no Dragonborns can't no, have rings. Warforge was on the Dragon me. Kin can. No, oh, that was me. According, me to, according to Dalek, that was me. I mean, you. I couldn't tell you it was you. The. <laughs> Yes, but yeah, so you you sort of put 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 two and two together and make three and a half. Yeah. Well, well. Sounds about right with us, Miss Phipps. Mm -hmm. But yes, could have could have easily have been a dragon king. Or a, winged, we, or a winged half dragon. Do we see it fly off? I Do mean we... If Hans had gone, oh my god, look up there, like that, then yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Did Hans see it fly off? Yes. Did Hans notice which direction it was heading? Not to know. Do I know? Oh, Jazz is frozen. That's slow. Not frozen. I'm just, I'm just, waiting, I'm just waiting for questions, and you guys were chatting, so I'm just letting you talk. Well, I see the saves in the air. What did it look like? It was very shiny. <laughs> very shiny. But yeah, headed north. It was going north. Oh, that's it's like, almost like a voice in the in my head told me this. <laughs> um, <laughs> it went north. Going that way. And I know this because I felt the, uh, whereas I, I kind of have a board patch on my head and the swoop is, the, the sort of breeze from a swoop is, hmm. it's going north. Oh, nice. That's uh, the same direction we're heading towards uh, Slipknot oh. Springs. <laughs> Slipknot Springs. Oh, the, <laughs> the creature in question, while you're all uh, while you're all there talking, the creature in question, so sort of laying now in the, the pools of acid, you can see that the vines are now sort of melting and submerging and sizzling in the surface in the surface waters. Can I recuperate my uh vial of acid and try and refill yeah. it? You can refill it and put it in your pocket. Cool, thank you. Acid attack. I got a vial of acid in my pocket and the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you made a mistake being a sorcerer. You should have been a bard. Nah. Nah, because what? I think you would probably sing yeah. ghost songs. And that is funny as hell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would have been Especially if you bang Zell, Mary on a cross. Well, well, it's not just saying, is it? Because, like, literally, I could use square hammer. If it was in a room, oh, and, square like a, and, a, and there's brilliant. a square, like, floor, you know, it's just like, are you on a square? <laughs> are I you on a square? You can't make it work. <laughs> love ghost. No, I've never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're advertising them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, yes. While you're sort of standing there, you saw Rogu filling it up and all sort of really confused as well for what really just happened. We just had this fight with this huge vinyl 
vinyl-y creature that is now sizzling and melting and you sort of see the skulls starting to melt and sizzle and burn and disappear into this, this acid. But at the same time, you're now starting to feel it underneath your feet. The acid is starting to get hot. You can oh, no. see that more, more bubbles are starting to appear in the surface. I'm going to try and get up. Okay, you're up. Cool. I'm going to nice. try to stay on top of the surface <laughs> and sink. I feel I let off some steam. Yes, yeah, okay. So, what are you doing? I think we should head out of here, gang. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's right. Onto, I think uh, we should. Yeah, onto slip hot waters. Yeah, let's press on to yeah. the concert stream. And that's why I'm quicker, last all. We throw ourselves against the wall. <laughs> no one else can see the present vision in the moon with me. <laughs> fucking acid. Fucking acid. Fucking acid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, which direction are you heading? No. Towards the download festival. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to go south and head back towards uh, Tier 3 for the festival then, yeah? Yeah. Ah. So they do have downloads. I, I need um, a bar. I, I need a barber. Nothing's going to help that melon. Mate. <laughs> the the um, <laughs> you start heading north. The 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 ground the ground doesn't really <clears throat> change much. Um, it still remains. I mean, you, you're sort of past the worst area, like the sort of the thickest. Um, acid filled area, but you do get you do get to sort of like this be- this beautiful opening. You sort of look across it, and all of the plants and vegetation have sort of started to die, and everything started to rot and corrode. And you can see you can see you sort of look over and this beautiful picturesque rock formation, and there was a pool underneath and. Very thick, very deep. You can sort of see what was remnants of a beautiful waterfall. But the waterfall has now changed. The 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 acid is thick and um, almost gelatinous at this point. And you can just see it sort of dripping off of the rocks. What is going on with water in this campaign? Like one minute it's golden and then the next minute it's acid. What is going on? Why was it golden? I'll give you a, why yeah. was it golden? Yeah, but we know it was golden. I'm just saying, but... Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Why was it golden? Curse. Curse. Cool. Exactly. Same. Yeah. I know. It's, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking, like, now who's cursing the water with acid this time? The snake men. Bad people. Bad Boom. people. Bad people. This is the... This is Mount, <laughs> Snake Mountain. But you can you can see that this is this this is a uh, there, this once was a beautiful uh, lagoon. That's a good word. Lagoon. Hmm. Just showing not crab people. That's that was in the sticker trick. Wasn't it? Crab people. Crab people look like crabs. Look like people. Crabs. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. South Park. So far, stick a truth video. How, how I managed to keep my sanity when I'm trying to run a game with you guys is beyond me. The yes, so yes, this beautiful lagoon area. You continue to head north, <laughs> um, and the area sort of is now is now is turned from marsh to uh, many waterways, lots of different. Um, estuaries and rivers sort of stretching off in different directions all still bearing the green uh, the, the, the green acid for one of a better description the smell is quite the, the smell is still quite pungent the fumes are almost overwhelming in areas 
but you sort of been there enough that you're sort of going to say growing, growing accustomed to you just keep blaming it on Dudley. What's it about this? The um, but you sort of you reach the bottom of a mountainside, and you can see that there the the the, the the trees sort of like further up are much greener, much more lush, much more um much cleaner. But the area that you're currently in is still poisoned. Is there a clear route up? I mean there, there there's no there's no trodden paths, there's no real um I say like uh, main roads or main routes to get anywhere. All all of it will be trudging mm. up there. Up there is short paths through woods, through trees, etc. Mm. There's no clear route to get out there. Mm. Okay. Well, would we presume that a nice clean area is singing? Lake, what do you think this is to sing? The singing waters. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's yeah. I've, 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 I've described it. I've, I've already described it. You're in and out. You're in an area with like estuaries and rivers. Yeah. And what used to be a beautiful lagoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we went past seeing Is there any sign of what once was an establishment here or other forms of life around? No, no other than other than the the bull vine thing that tried to kill you and the lizard that died, you have not come across another living soul mm. except for the creature that flew down and headed north mm. uh, so this uh, thing you saw in the sky Hans which direction did it go did you see it went north and that way mm. okay well uh, we'll so... follow you Turning green, green pastures. I mean, I'm happy to follow your lead, Hans, on where you think it went, and we can follow it on. Yeah, maybe you should have learned by now, you know, maybe not to follow me. Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, no, it definitely went north. It's just a case of uh, how we're going to get there. You know, we need to be very, very careful. What do you think, Dudders? Yeah, Dudders. So, Dudders. I know we haven't gone past anything past what is listed on the map, which is the singing waters, and that is turned to um, all the acidic and gelatinous. And if Han says it's gone north, is the green pastures north still? So yeah. if Hans is so strong on it's gone north, he's the only guy we need up that can give us answers at the moment. Mm. I think we should press Ooh. on. Yeah. Do you know? Or something. Mm -hmm. Lovely. You sort of get to the bottom of a mountainside. Now, the, 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 these mountains, there are there are a few. As in, there's sort of a mountain range that surround this or fill this central part of the island. And they're quite, as you sort of look up, you can see that there are areas that are quite, quite treacherous. Um, but you start heading up and sort of moving in, in and out of the trees, 
Uh, but all wrong in perception. Mm -hmm. See how many people are actually paying, paying attention. Yay! 17. 20. 17 as well. Ooh. 855. Yes, you, yes, you won a roll. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> You look at, and as you're sort of walking, I mean, all of you say you all roll well enough. As you sort of look up, you can see a silhouette in the sky. It catches, it catches your eye because it almost completely covers the sun. As this huge creature with wings sort of flies over your head. And you can sort of see it circling around the top of the mountain. Massive wingspan, sort of like, 80 to 100 feet across as an estimation, depending on how high you think this thing is. Yeah, I'm freaking out. Hmm, is that something we should be following? It looks meaty. You see it sort of as, as it's like, it, it flaps its wings a couple of times, and in the sunshine you get a glimmer of red. Very, very similar to the uh, feather that Taco had that you originally Oh, damn. Hey, ah. right, Tackle, does that look like uh, that feather you had? Oh, he's still there, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, the familiar is in the eye of the beholder. I cool, had it, it needed, sold it. Got a good bow. Ooh, yeah. Nice. And Tucker's become sad. Yes, I, I love it. Love wasn't it. Really attention. Sounds, sounds they, much better. <laughs> it sounds much better than the whiny tone that <laughs> we usually get on <laughs> TV. <laughs> but yes, from the, from from the silhouette in the sky, it suddenly it drops. It, it sort of drops a few feet, and you manage to catch the colourings as something like that suddenly appears Ooh. over the top of you. It's Fawkes. <laughs> uh, he, I mean, it's not really. Um, I know, I know. Hmm. Oh, I feel okay. inferior. Oh, was it big sister? But yes, hmm. uh, you sort of catch a glimpse of that flying overhead. Can any of wow. you remember what it was called? A rock. Ah. A rock. Oh no, mountain, like a... mountain spirit. Yeah. Looks like a big pigeon to me. Yes, it was. It was something that Dunkus told you about. It was one of the one of the guardians of the islands. Yeah. Yes, the guardian of wind. Oh, one uh, second. That, that's basically noticed. flying over your head at the minute. As you're there watching it, you're sort of catching catching eyes, and you sort of see its it, its colorations and its beauty. All of a sudden, a smaller Wing silhouette appears in the sky that you're you're looking at. Similar, or much completely smaller, different much, to look? much much smaller. Oh, that's a baby. And the silhouette, you all, it almost looks like they're having a dogfight in the sky. Oh, the rocks. You can see that the rock. Almost is chasing this creature around. Interesting. As they go, they they go into a dive, and the speed of the dive, as they sort of almost disappear over the top of the trees, possibly they could have been possibly travelling at a hundred miles an hour. Just this fierce dive as they come down, pull up. Eventually, the rock breaks off and flies back high up into the mountains. Beyond the cloud line, oh, the yeah, other, yeah. the other, the other small silhouette you see sort of come over the tree line again, and it sort of lands on the mount, lands halfway up the mountainside, maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty feet above your head. Above our head, like he's climbing. Feel like climbing. It's like he's climbed a turnbuckle and he's going, if you smell what a rock is cooking. (laughs) 
Is there any way we can get up to this and have a closer look? As I say, the the the, the side the side of the mountain where you are is quite quite sheer and quite treacherous. Yeah, is there any like paths on to our left no, or to our right? There's, there's no as a, it's it's quite a quite a large mountain range. It sort of stretches almost the whole centre of the island. Cool. If I get the if I share the map again, I'm sure I put it in. I did put it in. It's not a very good map. I really need to sit down and go over this a bit better. But yes, you're sort of you were here. You're now looking at these. So there's a. I need more mountains, but there's two currently. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely oh, okay. need to be more than that. They sort of start. So you you did the singing was here. Right, and the mountain range sort of starts here. But I really do, do, do need to get back to this map. <laughs> but yes, mountain range. Sort of, like the same. Okay, sweet. And did the little thing look humanoid or bird-like? It, it looked, Hans would have recognised it. It looked very similar to what he saw fly off previously. Looks familiar. Thanks, Hans. Welcome. Do you still want to go up and meet it in person, or do you think? Well, I don't think I don't foresee it coming down here to greet us. Maybe, maybe that's the best thing we should do. Okay, go up, and climb up. Yeah, it's a long way, but you know, maybe that's for the best. Let's see if I'm climbing gear. If not, I mean, we'll to... Taco sort of pulls out a couple of uh, 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 a couple of hammers, a couple of pins, and and one climbing rope out of because uh, he'd only have enough stuff for one person. Oh, yeah, I forgot that the barrel holding. But yes. 150 feet up of almost sheer rock face. I feel that James is trying to steer, like, steer us away from doing it. I mean, I'm I was... not. I'm, I'm just telling you what it is. Oh, no, I know. I'm, I'm not saying... Okay, I did say that, but I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase that. So, based on James's description, it feels like it will be a very treacherous thing to do, and I'm not too sure what benefit we'll get out of it. Like, well... what are we... If we go up to it, what's what's our end goal? Yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. Because um, I, I also feel as if we miss something from Singing Waters. I know there wasn't really much there to look at, yeah. but we've kind of passed through it and nothing of relevance has happened to it. Unless, unless this thing is meant to guide us to more information somehow. Potentially, but I mean, how can we get it to come down to us? We could throw something at it. You don't want to piss it off. Or we can, <laughs> yeah, we can try and talk to it. Yeah, yeah, we could shout up to it. What language would it speak? Well, you think it's a dragon king, so draconic. Draconic. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I'll I'll shout out very very loudly uh, in draconic then, um, and try to get its attention, um, and. I let him know that when we're we're no harm, um, we we just wish to speak with it and wonder what was just going on with its little altercation it was having. Uh, what are you saying? Um, give me the words. Give me the words. Give me the words. You wanted you had the words with feeling, giving feeling. Huh. Um, hey, bitch. The whole point of this being kind of role playing, though. Yeah. Um. Hello. Uh, we we're no threat, we mean no harm. Uh, we just wish to speak with you. Uh, we want to know what it was that uh, your business was with uh, that other creature you was just uh, uh, appeared to be uh, entangled with in in some kind of battle. Um, we just uh, we're wondering if you could help us. Uh, would you just please come down and, and greet us so we may speak with you? You don't hear anything back uh, straight away. 
but looking up the side of the mountain, you you can you can see that high up, and I mean sort of um, you know 150 feet above your head, you can see that there is like a hole, maybe a cavern or sort of like an entrance in the side, some sort of crevice, some sort of gap. Okay. In the rock work. Um, eyesight being an issue. No, not really. I mean, all of you looking up there into the sun, you you almost see this speck sort of turn up into the into the entranceway. Wingspan still really wide. And it sort of stands there and just looks out across and you could you can see slight movements. As it brings its wings in, turns and walks back in. Hmm. Does your thermoturgy make you louder, Hans? Uh, it what it does is that it uh, allows it me it. to boom up to three times as loud. Um, I can also cause harmless tremors in the ground. But it's all, uh, it's all, within, it's all within a distance. Yeah. Uh, again, it's 30 feet, it's not going to reach. All right, fair enough. So, if Hans climbs up, and then when he's like 30 feet away, then shouts. So and then so he's, got to get, he's got to get 120 feet up in the air. Yep. Okay, okay. Uh, Taco, could you please lend me your uh, climbing uh, gear, please? I, I'm going to go up. Sure, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that, you blithering idiot. Yeah, pretty much. Thank along those lines. I hope you don't fall. <laughs> oh no, what a shame. Yeah, don't don't hurt yourself. Uh, that, that would be an awful thing. Hmm. Well, nice to know everybody fucking cares. <laughs> no, Master. you get Master's of right. Taco. You. <laughs> I come off it. Ray Dudley didn't say it like this. He couldn't have said it with any less sarcasm. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I'm, no, I'm just going to make it when you really need when it comes near to the boss <laughs> fight to pull your books away. Okay. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not even going to bother getting you to roll anything. You sort of, you sort of, you you knock a couple of the the pittons in and you sort of start climbing and you sort of you get to one bit and you're there. And you're just sort of like you're you're there. You're 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 a, you're a, you're a, a uh, what can I, what can I describe you as? You are, you are a sewing maiden sorcerer. You're not built for climbing sheer mm. rock faces. Your your character doesn't have this in him, and he sort of gets, you know, he, he gets a good fifteen feet, twenty feet, and he sort of he's there, and he sort of holds it up and he's going, okay, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I turn Indian again. <laughs> what is very good Indian? <laughs> but yes, you sort you sort of get you get to this sort of point and you're you're there and you're sort of holding, you're kinda of going, Okay, what 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 do I do now? You know, sort of, it's I, a good I, thing I didn't actually come into a campaign as an Indian character because <laughs> we'd get probably get cancelled for, for racism. Well, I mean <laughs> I'm I'm doing Russian. I'm pretty sure that we're cancelled in Russia and Belarus. That's all right. <laughs> all They're of, our all, biggest all, markets. All, all, I just want to point That's out all of my all of my quarantine karaoke that I did. Over all those years, I'm getting loads of messages back that they're cancelled, and they the people people in Russia and Belarus can't view them. <laughs> they, they've been silenced or deleted, but you know, mm, everywhere else fine. in the world, it's fine. Just Russia and Belarus. Uh, I'm I'm comfortable knowing uh, no, knowing that Putin's not actually got his eyes on me. <laughs> but yeah, so you 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 sort of you start climbing up, and you get to you get to a point where your character is not designed. Nor skillful enough to climb up, climb up such a sheer rock face. Did I actually cast thaumaturgy on the right anyway to cause a rumble? Because obviously, it would have an effect when it would sort of rumble its way up to where the cavern is. I, yeah, so to I, hear it for him uh, to pop again, out and wonder what the hell's going on. Again, because it because it creates a fall. You can you can create a rumble within a thirty foot area. Mm. What you're saying is, will my rumble cause a landslide? No, just just the rumble, just make it rumble. It wouldn't be, it would be nothing but the noise, or maybe a slight shake, just yeah, to, to at least attract it to think it, him thinking what the yeah. hell's going on. 
I get it. He'll say, well, I didn't tell him that he didn't hear you. Mm. You shouted yeah. up, he walked out. And I'm going to shout up again. You. I'm going to shout up again because I'm well, stuck. Well, going, Help! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I say, uh, excuse me, um, I'm trying to come up to greet you, uh, but I'm prepared to be stuck. Uh, would you please, uh, as uh, we are no threat to you, we just want you to come and uh, I'd speak with us and then we will leave you be. Uh, I don't know so very much uh, appreciate some kind of help and assistance to get back down. Please, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, nothing there. There's no, there's, there's no movement out of the uh, the opening. Oh, jeez, oh, Okay, yes, yeah, come back down. Oh, be careful! Now we're not going to fall. <laughs> we will I'll catch get you. Ready to go catch him. It's fine. He's got his. He's got his. He's got his pittings and his rope. He's fine. He can get down. He's yeah. I'll climb back down. I attack him. Uh, that was worth it. Uh, Don't give him that. So who would be built to do it though? So I would think someone like Rogu might, because he's gonna as a rogue. I would have thought he might have been a little bit more athletic. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute. I come up with the ideas. <laughs> I don't do them. I don't who makes the plans. I don't execute them. Yeah, see. I'm the guy that makes the plan. If it turns out to be a good plan, yeah, I'll take all the credit. If it turns out to be a really bad plan, had nothing to do with me. <laughs> if plan A don't work, I'll make plan B. <laughs> so you make plans that don't work? Yeah. Like no, that. I'm just the guy who makes plans. Well, well someone, one of you is just going to be uh, able to to make it. Exactly. Yes, so moment sure. in time, I can't think of another alternative to get him out. Well, we to... could we could walk around the mountain and see if there is any part that isn't a sheer drop. We'll we have... be coming, coming, coming. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that, that's yeah, we could do. I mean, I'm I'm up for whatever suggestion now. I my mind's a foul, so. I mean, you've you you've you've you've, you've only wore, I mean, you touched on it earlier, Jack. With what you said, as you didn't investigate the area, I gave I gave you descriptions of all of your surrounding area, but you just continued to head north. The waterfall that was dripping acid. Acid. We'll use waterfall. Hmm. I'm trying that. Yeah, is there any? I'll ask the question now. Can we investigate around the sheer drop? See if there's any alternative way up there. Yeah, the, the, well, I mean, it, it's miles. So obviously, the, my, my drawing is terrible. I need to redo it. It's miles of it's miles of mountainside. You have reached you have reached the bottom of a hill to a mountain. Yeah. Hill goes up like that, and then mountain goes up like that. You have walked up the part of the hill, and now you've reached the mountain. <sighs> what did we not get? What have we missed? There. I mean, while while the rest think about a smart way to do this, right? I think Rogu will try and climb up. All right, guys, have a think. I'll try climbing up now. I mean, you, 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 you do the same. You know, you grab hold of the things. You sort of, you get a few, a few up, and then you're like, you just get to the point where it's, you, you're not a climber. You're not. A, you're not designed to climb up. You've never climbed the side of a mountain before in your life. You know, you get of course slightly higher than the guy that designs clothes. But yeah, still not anywhere near high enough to make it to the side of the uh, or the 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 crevice in the side of the mountain. Hmm. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh. Cool. All right. 
what have we missed? What will make this easier? The only other thing I think of, if we didn't investigate that other area, is we backtrack. I mean, that yeah. other thing doesn't look like it's going anywhere anywhere soon because it looks like it's made camp in that, you know, in that crevice in the, mm. well, yeah. the mountain. So, yeah, okay, I'm quite happy then. to. Yeah, I'm quite happy to go back. Well, we now know which way we're going, so... Yeah, we know this is here. We can just come back later. Mm. We know where they live. Yeah. Um, where are you heading? Where are you actually heading back to? Back to... Mm. That area we didn't look... We didn't investigate properly. Yeah, Which that Slipknot Waters area. Okay. So, you, you sort of... You turn around and you sort of... You start heading out. You notice now, as you're walking back through, you can see sort of like up the trees, in the trees, on the floor, there are a lot of these red feathers sort of laying around. Yeah, I'll pick some up. So you 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 choose the like the are you picking them all up or are you choosing the 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 unmessed up ones? Oh, the pristine ones, of course. Pristine ones, okay. You feel the four pristine feathers. Cool. They're all about two and a half foot long. Maybe three foot long. Oh, yeah. Feather. And you say there's four, that's four. Four, you picked up four pristine feathers. Taco, Taco suddenly goes, yeah, I was, I was supposed to take them to somebody in Ikmet. I ended up trading it with Dunkus. Interesting. Do you know who the guy you were talking to? No, he didn't. Because being Taco as a character, he didn't give a shit. Hmm. He was handed it and said, give this to somebody in it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And just walked away. I was he didn't, he didn't get any of the, the full info. Yeah. What an idiot! So yeah, so um, yes, but he does. Oh yeah, I was supposed to take that to a guy, Nick. But he ended up doing the trade with uh, with Dunkers, which you were present for. Mm. The yes. But you head back down. You break the forest. You break the forest line at the bottom of the mountain and get back to that that horrible thick uh, green sludge and the vile smell again. The lagoon dairy. You can see that there's a a, a very large sort of uh, hall that would have existed underneath the waterfall. But as I, as I described, the waterfall the waterfall was only dripping, and the 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 actual acid that was dripping almost gelatinous, as in rather than a, a, a constant run, it was just a kind of more like slop. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not a massively high waterfall, you know, sort of like only forty feet high, maybe. But it, it, it looked it, it's one of those ones okay, that sort of looked around at what plant life was still there. That it would have been quite um, picturesque. At one point, right? Do we climb up into this part where this ooze is coming out of? I think that's the hint I took. Yeah, if we're going to go check ups up the wharf, so be hmm. yes, yeah, see where the source of the sludge is coming from. Mm. Fair enough. All right then. Let's do that. Yeah. You head over to Is there the, an obvious uh, way up the waterfall. You head you head over to the lagoon area and you can see that there is um a sort of uh, climbing rocks on the side of it, sort of heading up. There's they're almost like a pathway built into the stonework. Built into the rock side on the side of uh, what was the waterfall. Hmm. 
very very easy to traverse. No no real uh, difficulty in it. You can see that you, all the plants around this area. You can you can see that they're all starting to uh, be poisoned, starting to uh, die off. Um, most mo most of the flowers have drooped and died because of the because of the uh, the flowing green liquid. As you reach the top. The sludge, the sulfuric liquid, it, the smell up there is so much more potent than the smell below. Um, thick, stodgy, huge, sort of thick bubbles, just sort of from the top of the front on, on the on the surface of this. Um, and as it sort of drifts and goes off, you can see in front of you um, a fenced off area, sort of high logged uh, built wall, almost like a fort wall. in front of you, so I've not 60 feet away. And as the sludge, as you sort of follow the sludge, the sludge goes into this area. All the trees on the surrounding area, you can see that they've all been chopped down, nothing but stumps left visible. Wait. Look at this place. What happened? Oh. It looks like it was once a very beautiful place. And now look at it. Everything's just destroyed. What could have done this? How do I feel? Yes. I don't believe that it's Constantine, but I think it might be one of the other two. Mm. And he was starting to pillage the resources for research. I think it yeah. went a bit too far. Well, we can't let this attack continue. We need to stop all of this before it all gets way out of hand. Is there anyone around the fort? Kind of the wooden uh, structure. Wrong me a perception as you're now looking. Okay. It just spoke you. Is anyone asked? Three. Someone else asked. <laughs> yeah. I ask. Go on, and now you're all looking inside. Perception. Well, that'll do. 19. Not 20, 21. Nice. And A55 is asleep. Actually, I think he is asleep. Oh, there you go. No, no. Pay attention, yet. Are you alive? I'm full asleep. What? Anyway, don't matter. You're rubbish. No. As you look over, as you look over at the uh, the log built fort wall, you can see that there are sort of people moving around inside, but the area is quite large, quite vast. But you can see that there are people walking around inside. Mm. What do you think? Do you think we should approach, assume they're friendly or approach, assume they're enemy? So we can knock on the door while two people hide on the other side. So mm. we've got just in case they are hostile, you got two people ready for a fight. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think I think and... we need to always give them the benefit of the doubt. We should approach them, but we should be on our guard just in case. Mm. Yes. 
Okay, I like Dudley's idea. I will hide. Yeah, that is a cool. great idea. I'm gonna hide as well because I, you know, if I can, if they don't see Rogo and they don't see me, I got my magic. I'll be uh, not. Dudley and A five five are gonna be approaching the door. <laughs> looks like a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, be like Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, that's 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 exactly the ones I was gonna say. You look like some uh, weird coupling of the coupling of Jehovah's Witnesses. Have you heard of? A Lord Saviour, CP, C3PO. Yeah. Well, for copyright reasons, this is A55. <laughs> <laughs> so you you guys sort of head down the side and sort of keep keep yourself tucked towards the the I say tree line, there isn't a tree line, but out of the main eye line of it, the other two walk directly towards the gate, and that is where we'll take our break. Go. Cool. Mm. All right then. So, Rogu and Harms, will you both roll me a stealth check, please? To see stealth. how well you're managing to hide. In I, was hiding, I was hiding it all. That's an 18 with a plus... It's what, 21. 18 with a plus 3 on modifier. Right, and then Rogu is a... Than the Rogue, that'd be hilarious. 23. Oh, okay. But we're both hiding. Cool. So A55 is going to need to pay attention for this because he's actually quite a prominent part of this. You be. And Dudley uh, right, start heading towards the main gate. That's nice. As you know the religious stuff, you take the lead. Okay. Well, what? what oh. We're Jehovah's <laughs> Witnesses. <laughs> As you sort of get down to the gate, you suddenly see the, these these huge burly men with sort of axes and uh, various furs over their shoulders sort of stand there and they all sort of turn and look. One big guy comes over to you and goes, who the bloody hell are you supposed to be? Hello, I am. Who am I? You're A55. Oh, I thought... Yeah, okay. Hello, I am A55. Um, I'm a witness of something. I thought you know, te- show people your teachings. You're spreading the word of... You, you know you, name, you know the stuff of State Mateus, bro. You ain't going to pretend oh. to be that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Just hold on. I'll do a magic trick. Yeah. Here you go. And he sort, of, he sort of takes it, he goes, uh-huh. What all that religious nonsense? Go to the other island. Fair enough. What the bloody hell do you want? We're busy. Can you not see that? And he sort of points behind him. And as you sort of look in, you can see that the whole area is nothing but tree stumps. And... Even even there's they sort of bits of machinery. Why why the deforesting, my friend? Well, where do you think they're getting the wood to build the houses? You know, wood don't grow on trees. It does. <laughs> uh, are you sure about I, that? I know I'm not that stupid. Well, we got to cut the trees down to make the houses, right? Yeah, aren't you? Do you have anyone who's going to plant them back? Yeah, yeah, planting trees. Uh, uh, grow more wood. Uh. <laughs> anyway, you still haven't answered my question. Who the fuck are you? You didn't ask our question. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Me, Jack Lumber. Jesus Christ. Dudley, <laughs> nice to meet you. And that's Jack Elm, Jack Willow, Jack Birch. Oh, where were the sick and more? No, he got ill. He got sick and more. Ah, in the name. That was good. I like that. <laughs> Give yourself an inspiration. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, it's just more curiosity of one, um, a house in the middle of the woods that looks ill, just like your friend Jack. Which one? Um, ill? Jack! All these birds turn around. Yeah? Sycamore. Sycamore. Good, it's a good thing they sang gangster slang because if they turn around the side, it, look, um, it looks quite ill, and uh, they think that's a good thing. <laughs> when has no poison started? What no poison? Well, it looks ill. Uh, apparently, this used to be a lovely water. And now it looks like acid everywhere. Well, you know, we got we've got to put all of the uh, all of our junk somewhere. I mean, look, we built a nice dam over there, and as you saw, look, you can see that they built a dam to hold the water up to supply all their machinery for cutting the wood and stuff. Oh, sort of like okay. re-diverted it all. Why a dam? Well, because we needed to utilise the water and it kept running through and disappearing and it just, it wasn't enough. I mean, you're asking a lot of questions here, Greeley. And I'll ask again, who are you? How can you, you ask speak so English for me? A. No, I didn't catch it. That's why I said A. So if you're crying out, or yeah, you're cutting out. So I you keep, yeah, you keep cutting out, James, and you keep freezing. I'm cutting out. Oh, oh, he's back. Yeah, I, I did. You guys haven't oh. stopped, which is really weird. But anyway, yes, I said you haven't told me who you are yet. I introduced myself. I'm Dudley. And Dudley is what to ask me so many questions. A passerby, a um, employer of Constantine. Okay, boy, the employee. He's employed by Governor Constantine. And you just hear some giggles behind you. Uh. So your name's Dudley, you're employed by Governor Constantine, and you're here asking me about my job. Indeed. Curiosity kills the cat kind of thing. Just a random tavern, or cabin, I do apologise. I mean, curiosity, a... curiosity can kill a lot of things if you ask too many questions. Are you trying to give me an invite? What, an invite? <laughs> yes. He's a strange one, this one. My name's my phone's sort of powered down by now. You're, you're, very, you're very silent. Yeah, I was just about trying to wake him up. Um, hello. And what are you then? Some some, some sort of n neurotic uh, printer? Well, I can be a print if you like. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's an inspiration no. right there. I've already got that. That is an inspiration. Ah. Take, takes the sheet, screws it up, and goes, <laughs> yes, yes. To lay maze the place for you. It's about... Who can play that game? Who can play that game? I don't he's, know. Just all, he's pointing over his shoulders like 40 miles that way and he looks down and just kind of no, <laughs> no just just and he turns back to Dudley so <laughs> 855 because he didn't appreciate the screwing up and the throwing away of the leaf that he's just printed he goes into full auto uh, leaf that ejaculation mode you know the bit in uh, Harry Potter where all of the Letters from Hogwarts, the, the hundreds like the just pouring, shooting through the letterbox. Mm -hmm. He's just like that in this bloke's face and just leaving it. It's going. <laughs> that ain't funny. So you still haven't really 
told me why you're here. And as much as I'd love to stand here chatting with two weirdos, I've got work to To answer your question, we got given the task of apparently as natives this area to talk about continue. You're all right. Yeah. I was just trying something else with my computer. Ooh. Continue. Got given the task of talking to the natives, finding if they want to trade in the towns. The night yeah, we got we got rid of them. They used to be down there somewhere. Near near, 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 near in the in the, the, the rivery bit. But yeah, they're now they're gone. They they've they've moved up the mountain now. Have you seen any overly large birds? Of the uh, territory, yeah, we just but it, I, we it sort of it ain't it ain't bothered us yet. Um, but that's why we've got these, and they sort of got a couple of muskets sort of leaning up against the fence. So I'm guessing you didn't get the memo from. Oh, what's the geezer's name? Oh, who's that? Oh, that's terrible. No, got you mean Governor Burn? Yeah, I got it written down. I was just looking at my yeah, Burn. Wrong island. Hmm? So you did. So you go didn't 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 get the memo from Governor Burn. Yes. Governor Burn's got no go uh, no uh, power here. Yeah. Like, wrong island. Where do you think I'm from? Pick hey, man. <laughs> Mm. I don't know. That's why I'm asked. No, right. no. You'll find yourself. You are on uh, tier for D, maybe mid island. Mid. Right. So Han, should we attack? I mean, it doesn't look overly hostile. It just seems like a complete nut pen in the ass. Yeah. We probably should um, have discussed a, a trigger word beforehand with the other two. Yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't look like an actual threat. He just seems to be a bit of an asshole. Well, if they um, say something like pigeon or something, then we'll attack because that's unusual. Yeah, I mean, we could just just see a little bit longer to see how this plays out. Mm. All right, then. If they end up closing the door on their faces and everything, then them two can go hide and then we'll go knock. Mm. Okay, we'll try and blend in then. Okay. <laughs> Is that a pigeon? <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. Is back? Is it? Yeah. Is it working? But yeah, I mean, so, right, so. Uh, Governor Burren said they not allowed guns. All right, so all those fellas from Icknet can't use guns anymore. Still got mine. <clears throat> no, I'm just, just curiosity. Could... Just in case it ever comes close enough, but he hasn't bothered us so far. I'll tell you why he's bothered us though. He's uh, stupid, lizardy, folky things. God, glad we got rid of them. What do you mean by got rid of? Well, as I said, they were down there. No, they're not down there. They moved up the mountain. Aye, but what did you do? Well, nothing, nothing direct, I suppose. Took their water. Why? Well, you know, I just showed, I showed you the dam. I and we're using all the... See, you know all that nice thing water running through there, right? Yeah, but what's wrong with having that stream, this continuous water? Wasn't running where we wanted it. We wanted it to go through our machinery. So we diverted it. 
What happened to old elbow grease? Well, I've got two elbows. They're not very greasy. I mean, we're trying, we're trying to build a city here, mate. Right? Uh, do you think we could do that with just the sweats of our brows and the grease of our elbows? No, no, mate. It's called progression. So you, you got what kind of machinery do they have? So basically, it, it's, you could just see that the water sort of running through. It's running through a mill. Um, it's sort of running through uh, like a log press. You can see that there's a a, 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 a huge circular saw sort of that's cutting the wood into planks. Hmm. All rudimentary stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Car. Uh, Car. He's that bloody pigeon again. You're not trying to. You're not trying to tell me that you're one of these environmentalists, are you? Protect the animals and all that kind of nonsense. Really? Just oh, one thing. The um. Those uh, singing waters have got rather acidy, and there's interesting life now growing there, and seems to be your dam is called me, called me, causing the issues. Yeah, probably. I mean, when we moved here, this was a really nice looking kind of area. Really, that's pretty, in fact. I mean, I've been here for about six years myself. Hi. Well, couldn't you let like a small amount of water get through just to clean up the bog? I mean, when we're finished, they can have it all, but... How long is that going to be? Oh, well, you know, it's how long's a piece of string to Do you know what I mean? Not Dudley, Dudley, Dudley. The, um, you know, how long's a piece of string? Have you, I mean, have you ever done any kind of woodwork yourself? I mean, I see yeah. you both carrying hammers, but I bet you've never knocked a nail in with them. I have done. I don't believe I have. I mean, unless you count um, pinning up the posters, uh, I don't think I've done anything else. <laughs> I can just imagine it. So like a little nail just with a huge water. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it'll take as long as it takes. You don't think there'll be any you know, consequences of your actions in the uh, vicinity? We've been employed by the islands to build the houses. We were building the houses. I but isn't there like a more sustainable way to... Do such things. Sustainable? Have you seen how many trees there are on this island? Oh, yes, I know. But I'm on much your machinery. You've got loads of big <laughs> people. Loads of big people, yeah. They're all called Jack, <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, you know, you surely, instead of all this machinery, you could use axes and keep the water running to the locations where it is needed. You're funny. How so? Well, because you talk funny. you got a funny face. And what's coming out of your face, because it's not really a mouth, he's, uh, he's, he's utter nonsense, isn't he, really? Even worse than that leaflet you gave me earlier. Which he didn't read. <laughs> well, he can't San read. Mateo. He's not a San Mateo from the left, really. St. Mateo. Right, guys, I know what we have to do. What's that? Right. Um, okay, Jack, I will be seeing you hopefully soon. All right. Thank you. I think. Yeah, you know, he only told me to knock down a dam <laughs> as the gate sort of gets slid shut behind him. Right, we need to stop their water flow. So if they're not going to break the dam, we will. 
So we um, point me to the direction. I'm magic missile the f out of it. Um where is the gun actually? Good call. Stop. We've closed the gates now. <laughs> 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 Luke, I'm your father. <laughs> so, do we actually see the dam? You saw the dam. He showed you exactly where the dam was. He pointed at it twice. Cool. So, Damn, are you son. sure you want to go do this? I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, damn. There's a big old dam. <laughs> is this is like, goddamn. <laughs> Did a beaver build this dam? <laughs> All right. We'll stop the dam jokes, hang on. <laughs> what noises do beavers make? I don't know. Oh, I'll pick it. Yes. <laughs> hey, the platypus. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, oh, okay, the platypus. So, hey, the platypus. Uh. <laughs> Um, I'll be a woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> so what? We get, we ain't gonna destroy the dam. Is that the plan? Mm-hmm. I reckon so. Mm, I reckon so. Swing better, better. I can't do a lot as I have no nothing ranged. I don't fancy getting crushed. We can launch him. Hmm. No, <laughs> it's a dam. If you just take one <laughs> side, I take the other. <laughs> Potentially, the pressure of the water will take out the dam. Be, be, be so like uh, make a crack. Be like Robocop. Can you fly, Bobby? And they'll be like, can you fly, A55? <laughs> <laughs> That's test his theory. Come on, dog. Okay, so you guys, you, you two know where the dam is because uh, you were told and pointed. It was pointed. So we're going there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. I mean, you. I mean, you've you've got a choice now. I mean, this is this. Remember, this is a logging. This is a logging company. So you know, you've got a choice now. It's the middle of the day currently. Yeah, that's a good long point. rest. Long rest. I think first and foremost. Mm. But do we do we make enemies out of this random logging company, or do we? Or do we blame it on the massive plant monster in that's not even that far away? No, I yeah. don't think we're going to lie about it. So, although, I think maybe if we have a long rest, then destroy the dam at night, A, we might not be seen under the cover of darkness. Yeah, that's a good point. And B, there's not really much they're going to be able to do when it's extremely late at night. They'll probably be asleep when we're doing mm. it. So, I say we have a nice long rest, recuperate everything, and then when it hits dark, uh, night time, we go destroy the shit out of there now. Mm. In retrospect, it would have been nice to have given them fake names if we're going to destroy their thing. Oh, well, we didn't think of that. That's fine. Oh, no, actually, what we could do is if the other two hide, me, you could knock on the door and we could pretend to be um, some kind of like just strange people that are passing and just try to pass the word of uh, his great, his gracious uh, Constantine. And now we could just uh, introduce ourselves as whatever names we come up with. Okay, I'll call myself A55. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I, I'll be some guy called Dudley John. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Hold on. Okay, no, I think that's a good idea, though. Rest until darkness and then we will yeah. be pursuing. Yeah, but I, I actually do think we should not knock just us two, like, just to give them a false name. Because even if they spot us from a distance, they're just going to turn around and say, oh, it was these guys named blah, blah, blah. Well, those guys don't exist. So, mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, A55, okay, so A55, if you and Dadders go and hide, and uh, Liv Rogo and I, just to, uh, you know, just leave uh, some false names and, uh, and whatnot, and then we will, uh, we will then go find a place to rest, and then We'll go out and then we will destroy it mm. when it is night time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, so me and Rekka will go up and Yes. Uh 
Hi. Uh, uh, my gentleman friend here and I uh, are just passing through. Um, my name is, uh, is Burke Bacharach. And mine is um, Austin Theory. <laughs> okay. Okay, and you are here. Why? What do you want? Uh, no, I don't think you heard me. He said his name is Austin Theory, and my name is Brock Lesnar. <laughs> but you said your name was Bert. No, Brock. Brock Baccarat. No, okay. Brock Le no, Brock Lesnar. Sorry, when I did say Baccarat, I was clearing my throat. Okay. Of course, yes, Brock, Brock Baccarat. Lovely. No, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> so I'll pull the earplug out. What? My name is Brock Lesnar. Lovely. And this, my friend here, is Austin Theory. Okay? Oh, lovely. Did, did you not pass the test to get a full license? The theory. Ha ha, wow. you are ha, 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 <laughs> ha, 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 You are funny. <laughs> Yes. So, what do you want? Uh, what do we want, Austin? Uh, we want to run. No, that is it. We are here. Um, we uh, we noticed that you have a dam. Uh, is that supposed to be there? Yes. Build. Yes. We build. We built it to run the uh, machinery. Oh uh, yes, uh, that's okay. Um. Just wanted to, uh, we were just passing through to spread the Lord of uh, his great uh, Constantine and uh, that he is um, wanting to get uh, some feedback, okay, from us uh, people in the different areas. Uh, he, what, do you think he is a nice man? Is he doing a good job? He's asking me if Constantine's doing a good job. And again, you behind you just hear loads of laughing. <laughs> I don't know what is joke. Uh, what what is the joke? Ah, uh, to say that Constantine is a child in a man's body is an understatement. Ah, uh, you see, ah, oh, you see it too. I know it's, it's, he is right. The guy is absolutely king clueless. How he got given any power is beyond us. But he pays us crazy amounts of money to uh, to do this, so we're going to let him. Oh, interesting. So he paid you, did he pay you to do the, build the dam? He paid ah. us to do the wood. So the dam came as wow. part of the job. Okay. So what happened? So did there used to be uh, natives around here? or Because uh, this is the sort of area we would normally see natives uh, living and about. Here, yeah, Lumber, did you just have a conversation with somebody about the natives around here? We've got another two. What? Brock and who? Brock and Professor uh, uh, License. <laughs> and so he, he sort of steps around and he goes, Yeah, they were. Now they're right. Okay, so I, 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 yes, your friend was just saying that apparently there was two other people here before us. Uh, they were asking uh, things about there being uh, people that used to live around here. Uh, yeah, uh, so, some, some, weird, some weird teleprompter thing posting out leaflets about St. Matthias and uh, some big green fella named Dudley. Uh, that's a very strange pair of beings to see wandering around. Would anyway, Dudley and A55 both roll me a stealth check, please? Because not at any point did you say you guys were hiding. But oh, they're standing behind us. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you chance, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you a chance to hide. I thought they were. Okay. I'm alright. Nineteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, so that's very crazy. Um but yeah, I mean I was just uh it was just having this conversation about um, Constantine. It's like a man in the child's body. You have to agree. It's uh, very true, it, yes. He's a complete idiot. That's not, he really is. The, um, uh, but he, he pays you, yeah? And, he, well, the, 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 the government, and his own government, 
uh, pays us our wages. You know, we are we are uh, we we are <laughs> a political employees uh, doing our bit doing our bit for uh, New Serene. No, so basically, you you know, you obviously seem to be somebody absolute best. I mean, look at that dam. That's impressive. Your your friend was just telling us you built this, okay? And and I have to say, it's a beautifully constructed uh, dam. Um, money well spent from the government, I'd say. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so basically, we just passed it, just trying to get some feedback on how you're seeing Constantine's doing your job. We know we kind of could just answer the question ourselves, really, but we have to be careful. And uh, but um, yeah, I mean. What other kind of uh, works do you do? Because we maybe we could put w a good word out for you, um, maybe get you some more work, seeing as you've been very kind enough just to speak to us now. We don't need any more work. We are okay. going to be here for years. Okay. Oh, it's no problem then. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's very much appreciated. Um, we'll just tell Constantine that, yeah, everything is fine. Because let's face it, he wants to hear that everyone thinks he's doing a great job when we all know he's absolutely terrible. Um, but, you yeah. know. Well, I'd, I mean, do you work for Constantine or are you? Yeah, so basically we're hired, hired out uh, to be, um, what is uh, the word uh, that is used? Um uh, surveyors, like we do, like a survey where we to get the feedback for him, and it's basically for his people to, you know, for like putting word out and uh, basically just to bullshit him, really, because right. it's what he wants to hear. So is 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 so Austin Theory and Bork Laser, right? Bork Bork Laser. Yeah, yeah. So Bro, you could call me this if you want to, you know. But no, yeah. it's fine. We'll 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 take note of that. Not a problem. Um, but yeah, but I say thank thank you for giving us. I don't know being here. I suppose we, we gotta get back to work. Plenty, plenty of wood in these choppy. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, yeah, sorry you was disturbed by some two weird things. I I don't know if we'll ever come across them uh, on our travels. But thank you very much. Uh, you take care. Uh, bid you a good day. Sure. Uh, and then we sort of just turn and wander off a little bit and just sort of signal to the other two when we're a little bit further away. <laughs> okay, so now me and Dudley need to head up there with fake names again. <laughs> Confuse them even more. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, so... Well, yeah, they um, got down ginger on lumberjacks. Yeah, well, Carl <laughs> Constantine is funding them. And, uh, he funded them to cut the, the trees. He's funded them to do the dam. I'm going to take really good pleasure in us destroying this dam uh, later this evening. Well, that's the thing, right? So if we're under Constantine's employment and yet he hears that we've torn down this thing that he's commissioned the creation of, wouldn't that really uh, put us in hot water? Uh, well, maybe Ooh. for Austin Theory and uh, Brock Lesnar, maybe, but uh, I don't know who them guys are. Oh, or I've got a plan. As if you have told us what's been said, the guy used political workers, mm. Mm. and we are classed as political advisors. Mm. So if we talk to. Advocates. Advocates. Yes. Advocates. If we go ask Constantine that sadly the job of the lumberjacks is ruining our well, putting a little spanner in the works of mm -hmm. the clan of the singing waters. Yeah. He might be able to move them to somewhere else. Maybe, but if he says no and we need that dam down, it gives us motive. Well, fundamentally, the only reason we've come here is to uh, open up some trading links and help with the relationship with the natives. So yes. if, if we, we... We don't want to tear this dam down for our own benefit. We only want to, do, to please the natives. Yeah. But 
if Constantine ends up not wanting us to break it down, then he won't please the natives. So once we give him that information, the ball's in his court, really. Well, that is true, yeah. He's, yeah. he's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. Okay, so um, maybe we take long rest and then we'll start, then we'll head back this evening mm. and uh, we go speak to Constantine. Mm. Yeah, I think so. He'll be in his um, castle this afternoon, won't he? Mm. What time is it? You you got you got the Early afternoon. You got the uh, the note telling you that he'd gone hunting. Yeah, maybe at way four in the morning. Not in fact, in the if didn't specify a time. Just oh really? Well, you know, didn't specify a time. Cool. Um, in mm. that case, we got other stuff we can talk to Duncus about the temple that we found. Mm-hmm. So we've got that in the water. Mm-hmm. Still have to find out about the seed of life thing, but that that's a uh, that's something we can cross along the way. Mm. Have um, you? Oh, question. Have you told us anything about this? What happened when you got taken away from us? Oh, no, I don't think I did. So, basically, this guy <laughs> slit his hand, and then he hand-shook my slit hand, and then we're bonded somehow. Um, and apparently, if... Oh, okay. It would be helpful if I remembered. Um, but if one of us dies, the other dies or something. Some sort of uh, bonded-by-death thing. It was, so, it, I don't plan on it was, dying. It was, if one of you dies, the bond is struck. As oh, in- that's the only way to end the bond. Not if he dies, you die. Oh, okay. If he dies, the bond is over. If you die, the bond is over. Okay. But the, so bo- what- the, the, bo- the, the bond is, betray him, you'll be punished. If he betrays you, he'll be punished. But if... <sighs> what, what would kick in first if I were to kill him? Would the betrayal end first or would the bond end? Interesting. Only one way to find out. <laughs> All right, stab. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so basically, guys, I'm confused what this bond is, but something to do with uh, he will give us information if I give him stuff about the seed of life, I think. So, yeah. Do you know the geezer's name? No. <laughs> so you made... Which, a which, contract. Oh, it's my favourite bit of the conversation. Took a blood oath for the guy. Never asked him no. no. <laughs> we'll call him uh, Jerry. <laughs> okay, so Jerry, let's make this makeshift Jerry mm-hmm. has you made a oath mm-hmm. for the task of Info seed of this. life. Yeah, that's the one. For information that you want. Yes, I but think. He knows your name, but you don't know his. No. I know what he looks like, though. <laughs> Do you? What does A55 remember? Are you alive? He is. He's tapping his chin. Just trying to get him involved in the conversation and off his phone. No. I mean, be part of this conversation. Well, do you, are you going to wait till night time, destroy the dam? Or are you going to go back and see Constantine and see if he'll get them to destroy the dam for you? Why are we getting to destroy it for us? To ourselves? Get it done quicker. Why? Because we were we... talking about, wouldn't it be three? Because we've all three of us have decided that we got over agreed that we're going to see Constantine first. I didn't so, <laughs> 
I'll clue A5 Ivan. So because we're political ad associates, advocates. advocates, because we're political advocates of Constantine, but Constantine has commissioned this dam and woodwork to be done, then if we destroy it, then we're double crossing Constantine and he won't be very happy at us. And he's yeah. paying us. So we don't want oh, to upset him. Lit. I'm going to walk over to the dam and go, Huzzah! And then, yeah. <laughs> onto the dam. So, the... so like, I don't we're going to go post a teaching of St. Matthias on the dam. Oh, just yeah. because the guy crumpled up two of your teachings. Indeed. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Love the fact that this is petty, uh, petty advertising. <laughs> Love it. What is the plan then, guys? I think head back to Constantine, brief him on the situation, and Give then him an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's 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 about it's about sort of early afternoon now. So you start heading back, you trudge through all of the swamp again. Making yeah. making your way back. The the remnants of this vine monster that you fought almost all but completely disappeared. Nothing but bones left of the um lizard that you saw fall after it had a drink. Okay. The skin, skin and organs, everything completely removed. So, you, what kind of bones? Because I'm interested in something, but I don't know if it, because the design that you show me on the figure, don't know if it's going to be in the same. Okay, well, explain. I mean, the, the this, thing so, got pulled, this thing got pulled in. And the bones are sort of like just settled. The, you can see the half, like half the skeleton protruding from the acid. So if there's any... Because I thought it was a stego. No, nah, it's not quite. But go on. Tell me what you want. I think I say the pike. Like the bone pikes. Mm -hmm. Try... And the, the, the spikes on the ridge. It was the spikes on the top or the tail. Okay, I mean the tail. The, the the tail was a large mace. Oh, it's a it was a mace or a club. Yeah. Cool. If I'm able to go take that, I'll take that. Yeah, well, I mean you, you you pull the skeleton out of the thing, and yeah, it's it's, it's still got it's 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 a bony tail as you sort of pick it up and sort of hold it. It's sort of. Sort of stiff. Hmm. Almost that like might have some. Might have some use for this. Uh -huh. Just saves me for not having something else now and keep on seeing the other one. Fair enough. Anything else? Nobody else. You carry on walking through the forest, mm -hmm. making it back to the trodden path. All the wagons have now been loaded and taken across on the barge. The barge is currently on the other side of the stretch of water between Tirfredi and Sim. San Matthias. Excuse me. By the time you get back to the city and sort of walk through the area again, Bella sort of jumps out and goes with his cane, goes, do you want to buy or not you guys again? And then disappears back into the darkness of the alleyway. Hmm. But you sort of get back into the city. Constantine's statue's all been cleared. The dusk is sort of setting upon you now. It's now that sort of early evening going into uh, 
going into dinner time. So you're heading straight. You're heading straight out to Constantine's thing. Yeah? If he's still in there. Mm-hmm. You start to you start to approach the front door of the governor's mansion, and the man who normally greets you still standing there and in all his garb, but he's he looks kind of worried. You see him sort of just kind of very very fidgety fingers. You okay, gentlemen? That I I is hello. Long 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 the time done. Scientists, we've spoken. I, I, by any chance, have you seen Governor Constantine on your travels? Arthur. Yeah. Not really. We've gotten a letter that he's gone hunting. Unfortunately, he, he, he hasn't returned yet. Do you know where he's gone hunting? He he went with a group that arrived on a boat yesterday, and they 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 said that they were were, 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 were very good <laughs> hunters, and he went. The, 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 that sounds fun. We we've never been, been met them before. I understand you're in shock. Thank you. Uh, can you actually speak a little bit clearer, please? I've try. Um, now, now be good. Could, could you describe what these hunters looked like? The, 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 they, they were a, a, a selection of elves. <laughs> oh, elves. elves. <laughs> you know where they, they come from? They, 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 they came from a boat. Oh, okay. Well, you know, governor. Constantine spoke, spoke, spoke to them and then decided to go ha, 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 hunting. What, on a different island? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> so it's his fault. It's his fault. I'm so, 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 sorry, we've got the co 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 coin guard out l l l looking for him. So we don't know where he's gone hunting. We know that he's gone hunting. So basically, we need to. So if uh, these hunters arrived by a boat, and uh, the question is, did they take him away? On a boat, because they may not have taken him away um, by water, but if so, we're going to need to find out exactly which areas could that boat possibly have travelled from, mm. and then we need to start investigating. If you want to find out which boat they came in on, to chat to the harbour master. Cool. Okay, we will do. That would be 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 where 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 we leave you this week. That's all, folks. The further they get, the less they know by the sounds of this. But thank you very much for joining us for another Misfit Adventures, and until next time, take care.